Hey, what's up, YouTube? Zyrene here. Gonna be give, doing a bottom lane misfortune guide for you guys today. So, just start Doran's Blade on her. You know, you don't, we don't see a lot of play for misfortune anymore. I'm gonna put him in sixth item slot because he did it. I like that. Sure so it looks like Lisa might be counter jungling this game because he bought a Doran's Blade Welcome first. So Misfortune's really good. She gets later. passive movement speed. The strut ramps up over time. If you get hit, you lose it. Kind of like a Teemo move quick. And except it like removes from everything, I believe. Even if you get hit by a minion, take double up first, no matter what. There's really no reason not to. Impure shots is pretty cool. You can max that first if you'd like, but most of the time, I would say it's better to just max your Q. They have a blitz crank, so I'm a little scared. I believe their Annie's also a pretty good player as well, and they have they have NK. They both have NK names, so I'm not I'm not quite sure. You know. I guess they I guess they're duo or pre made or something like that. They have a blitzcrank, a little scared of that. So yeah. I run twenty to one, nine zero on Misfortune. Do that because she's gonna be gonna Don't need that little cocky. bit of defense because she's not as mobile as everybody else. And wow, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just got some deep wards in here. Minions have spawned. Step two. Because Blitzcrank yeah, Blitzcrank has no explorer ward. Blitz, Blitz, Explorer, Warded, Red. You've got dangerous so, eyes. I this like is going to be a little scary for me. They, I believe NK Great Leader is a good player, and Sexy Saying is at least a better support than mine. So it's going to be a little tough here. And so I'm going to play MF the best I can. You max Q first, max W second. Just leave E wherever it is, and then your R whenever you can rank it up. You basically go for full attack damage on her. You don't I really need to worry about I'm attack doing. speed, but attack speed does help. If you do go for an attack speed item, I would... Ooh, I missed that CS already. So, um... Not sure why he's hit that for me. Kind of a... Just gonna poke a little bit here. Guns blazing. He's going to return the favor. I'm actually just going to life steal it back up. And Miss CS more. Step two. He's pushing me. And we're going to get a mini wave here. I like they hit level two already. I don't know why this guy keeps autoing the creeps, but it's not messing me up too bad, but I am not a just a horrible CSer in general. Yeah, as you can see. First the fun begins. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get life back. <laughs> and at the same time CS, but it's not working out so well. I've got a good feeling about this. And I'm very, very down on CS right now because under the turret, it's difficult. He took a turret shot there. Mm. I'm down Should by like ten. Yeah, I'm down by ten. Summoner. Can I don't know how important that ward is. But we're gonna get I it. I know what I'm doing. No, <laughs> that was. Uh, did he just blow his load to the you side? Okay. I like that. So I'm gonna focus a little more on it. hitting him when he goes for CS. I know I can trade really well right now. Just like that. I always oh my God! First. Hit it! Thank you. So it's funny because I'm not so I'm, I'm not used to the champions when they have no attack speed. I'm more used to them when they have higher attack speed. So I do need to practice my early game. That's something I personally need to do. And I don't know why we aren't being super aggressive. No pay. No 
Don't get cocky. You Got have him with the double up. Enemy. Step two. Keep this here. I want to keep it here. Let's see if I can hit it. Just focus on last hitting. I don't need to be that far up. I just want Set the experience. Sail. I am so dang behind that and this will catch me up so did I just see somebody right there no that was a minion Not <laughs> a, <problem. laughs> a minion freaked me out oh boy sure you can handle me summoner probably should have waited an extra second on that one So cannon minion wave coming up here. I've got Just gonna pick that up. About this. Yeah, and they're just nope, not gonna Don't get that get one. Cocky. They still have a cannon minion, so it's gonna start. It's gonna continue to push. And it hasn't taken any damage either, so he's gonna come back with an item. I'm gonna be a little out of luck here. They're gonna want to push the wave up, I size. assume. I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna die. Yep. Set oh, sail. no, no, I'm not. Go, strut, go. Go, thank you, Thresh. I love you, Thresh. Here comes Fizz. Fizz is Fizz gonna clean this up now? That would be wonderful. Sure you can handle me. He's got some of the waters, right? Oh. <laughs> Lunchtime. Just picks that one up. Good freaking job. Oh my I lord. That was I'm wonderful. Doing. Thank you, Fizz, for roaming. But now I'm about even in CS with him. I'm a level up, almost level six, and I got a BF sword instead of what he brought was a vamp scepter. And this is working out very well for us already. My CS is terrible. It's just you know, CS better than me. That's that's pretty much all I gotta say. CS better than me. Oh boy. If, like, if you can help it, please, just CS better than I do. So now that he has a Vamp Scepter and I have a BF Sword, I have to pay attention to the trades because he can just sustain them up. Step two. So I got rid of the Cannon Minion, keep these so we can freeze it. Gonna hit him really hard with that. I'm level six, so I would I would say go if we can. I've got a good feeling about this. Do as much damage as I can, and now put the pressure on. An enemy has been slain. Don't get caught. Get him out of lane. I know that he wants to. I know he wants to life steal back up. I know he does. But, just gonna keep him away. Who's their jungler? Lee Sin? Okay. Sure you can handle me, summoner. I believe this is a, a pre-made game on their side. I don't have anybody on my side who's pre-made with me. But, let's see. Did the Graves stick around? No Step Graves two. didn't stick around. So, just gonna clear this wave, push it all the way to the turret. Hopefully get it there no pray, no pay. before Graves gets back. And now I want it back. 61 at, at 9 minutes. Okay, yeah, he sees me. And he's coming down. She's looking for a kill. I don't actually... Actually, you know what? Hook. If he can get a hook. Oh! Oh wow, Rengar's here too. Just do as much damage as I can. Just stay out of harm's way. I like that. Here comes Lee Sin. Lee Sin's right there. I know what I'm doing. Wanna go back to CSing right now. My ulti's up in 20 seconds. I got the blue, so I actually don't have to back for the reason that I was previously going to back. I was going to back because I was out of mana. I wouldn't 
I wouldn't have wanted that pull anyway. Yeah, so 10 seconds on my ulti. Annie came bottom, just sat there, so that was a bad move by her. My ulti's back up, so if Thresh can actually get a full combo here, it'd be really good. I just need to watch out for Blitzcrank, because he will he'll silence me, and I believe that'll stop my, my ulti channel. So, I still out damage Graves by a lot, and now I'm just waiting on the mana regen. So, get some damage with the double up there. Use the extra range from it. This wave, this wave's gonna push, so I don't really need to be up. And that well, probably would have been a good time to hook. There comes. Sorry, he just used his ulti for silence. Are they all coming bottom? Get out of here! Huh. <laughs> Any ink. Don't get cocky. I'm sitting on a lot of gold. I don't want to be sitting on this much gold. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Go, go, go. Not a problem. Oh, wow. Why wasn't there a hook? Oh, well. Fizz will hopefully clean this up. Yeah, he's gonna get at least one kill here. Oh. Huh. <laughs> so yeah, one for one. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna go straight for the Bloodthirster on this one, so I have this lane sustained. Oh! That was really good. He does have enough for Playful Trickster, but I don't know if that's the right move to follow that up. He's not gonna be able to finish it. Oh, the Urchin Strike to the other side! Oh, the Lantern out! Ah, this is a... This is amazing. This is amazing. So Graves has only enough mana for one quick draw. Leak, if he can pursue this long enough, he'll be able to do it. Did 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 Jace come back? Yeah, he came back. Okay. Is he gonna be able to get it? Yeah, he's gonna be able to get it. Not enough mana for another quick draw. Where did my blue end up? Who did it end up on? Okay, perfect. So, I used my ulti there because I knew that after that I was gonna die, and. When you're in a huge teamfight situation like that, you need to do as much damage as possible before you die. That's really what it's about. Like if you watch the Koreans play, they will do as they will do all of their damage before they die. That's why they love playing assassins because they they get off all their damage extremely quickly, and it doesn't matter that they die. They're like, okay, now you can't contest the turret or you can't get Baron because we got you all very low. And so, I don't think he actually did he get Graves there because I just saw Graves middle. So I'm actually going to push this turret. I'm not afraid of Blitzcrank. I'm afraid of him hooking me into the turret, though. So yeah, I was actually waiting for a Thresh hook back when Annie was in the bush. I thought that was how we were going to start that fight, but we decided we did it. We did it a different way. No prey, no pay. We don't have wards in these bushes. It's getting a little, a little annoying. I hit him with the double up. Double up does more damage the second bounce, so it's worth. I know what I'm doing. To use it that way, it's actually incredibly smart to use it that way. So I'm gonna actually back and get these. Actually, no, wait, no, no, I'm not. Never mind. There's no reason for me to do that just yet. Get sure all of them. Handle me, summoner. So that I don't mess it up. And that's smart CSing right there. Where you... Who's there? You've got dangerous eyes. I like no that. No wonder. Oh, anyway, we're gonna get this turret. Your team has destroyed a turret. Ha! I've got a good feeling about this. Just gonna clear this wave. Impure shot stacks. Gonna make it so that I kill that. And now let's get out of here. Ah! Step two. Has been hmm. 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 Let's hit the blitz. I don't have the mana for this. I don't have the mana. Don't get cocky. Don't 
but he has the damage. So I'm gonna just stay by him while I'm continuing to CS, just in case the potential fight would continue. But the Fizz is just doing so much work right now. I'm back off of that. Now I'm gonna get the boots. Or, hmm, actually, you know what? I don't even need that. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy boots, then I'm actually gonna buy a pickaxe. So reasoning behind that, and actually I'm gonna buy a pink ward for my team as well. And I bought potions just because if I get zoned out, I don't think I'm gonna get zoned out though, I have full bloodthirster stacks. I bought the ward because I wanna contest dragon shortly. I'm gonna help Thresh out with that. I couldn't really buy anything else at that point. So, uh, poke him, thank you. Let's get him off of it. And no, that's not, not right. But yeah, flay him, box him, flay him, box him. Uh. Unstoppable. And immediately the damage that he did is pretty much worth nothing. So that ward just went down right there. Oh, I was gonna think ward it, but okay. What I'm doing. I didn't see him leave. There we go. So Game's looking all right. I'm CSing decently. I was CSing a little better up until Bang. all the fights started happening bottom. And I missed the cannon minion because I'm being too too dang busy pushing. So I'm actually gonna ward up the dragon so that we can do it. You've got dangerous eyes. I like Nothing that. here. I'm actually gonna go rotate there. Oh, it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit Lee instead. But Fizz is so good, so t so strong amazing. right now. So, so yeah, I don't know if I said this earlier, but if I do get an attack speed item, it's going to be a static shiv for the wave clear, because that'll help me clap the waves much faster and compete with these graves in terms of wave clear. Does he have boots? Yeah, he has boots, so he has a little bit of an item up on me on that. So we got zoned off of them, they pinched him around. We weren't able to get there. But good news is I still have my ultimate. I've got a good feeling about so, this. If they go dragon, I'll have something. Okay, so that didn't actually Thanks. double up to hit him. We got the middle turret, so it's worth objectives are worth more. I do think that we could do the dragon and be fine. Don't get cocky. But I think there's a lot of CS coming down bottom that I want. So I'm actually just gonna walk through here. And I know there's a ward still here, so they're gonna see that. There's a ward right there that they just placed as well. Sure you so can handle me, let's, let's got let's have a pink. No, the blitz doesn't have a pink. I should prioritize champions. Too much RNG. That that would really fix some of NF's problems in the laning phase if, it, if that prioritized champions. I always so yeah, just enough for that. No pray, We should really no be doing dragon instead of chasing, because Annie's going to get middle. Is he going to get that? Your nope. turret has been destroyed. Size. I like that. Yeah. I'm going to get that. Pick up An enemy has been slain. the blue for myself as well. Don't know where Annie is, so I'm a little worried about that. Annie could be coming from the side. Guns no, actually, she's dead. Okay. So I'm not worried about anything. We just take the turret immediately, pop my impure shots to do more damage to the turret, just because it's going to give me more attack speed. Not a problem. Let's crank right there. Don't know if we can push another. Yeah, there, there's the red guard. Okay. Don't know why I buried it there. 
Yeah, that Blitz get I mean, not Blitz. Graves kind of had a little tell on that one because he jumped forward, and I was like, okay, that he wouldn't do that for no reason. So I'm gonna pick up the last Whisper right now. I'm gonna get the boots and move faster. But yeah, no, that was a bad idea. We should have just gone to Dragon instead. That was the place to go. And oh, that. An ally has been slain. That's bad. But yeah, we should have done Dragon previously. wasn't wasn't a good call on my part. I don't know why I kept pushing. I I thought Fizz was still with us. I had no idea that he was low mana as well. He went to go do the blue. Yeah, we should have just dragoned. Sure, you can handle me. Someone. I had it pink warded rich, uh, earlier. It's such a strong combo, like the Blitz Crank with the Graves, because you can't see if you're going to get pulled. Like right there, there's there's really... I can't think of how you would counterplay that. <laughs> Just trying to zone them out. I'm going to pick up one kill right there. Flash to the other side, so I'm on the turret side. Almost got another person there as well. Bang! I think I almost got uh, Graves. Oh, I almost got both of them. My ultimate was really good. It came across both of them. I'm not gonna get an assist for either though. Though, and it's really ulti placement is a lot of what MF is about. Like she's basically a walking ultimate. She's kind of fun though. She's kind of fun. But if you mess up your ultimate pretty badly, then you don't have a lot left. So right now, we're going to lose that tier 2 turret. I'm not going to be able to push anything. Eh, I guess I could get a little more gold here. I did die, so... Step two. Restacking my Bloodthirster. Okay. It's already stacked. I'll walk back now. Look at items I could possibly buy. And oh, he's just wrecked right there. And then, so there's multiple ways you can do it. You can end up going for the static shiv, which is what I'm going to do, because I like the movement speed, the permanent movement speed at least, because I know the other people are going to get it. I know that the Graves is going to get the zeal and things like that, so he's going for a phantom Not dancer, a so I'm going to get the static shiv, which also applies the on hit from my Q. And if I can make it over here in time, I'll be able to help, but this is going to get there first. And they're going to keep chasing Thresh. Yeah, they are. So here we go. Go straight into this, hit him with that. Hit him with that. Gonna get double, double kill. kill. Pop, pop, pop! Motherfucker's gonna drop. He doesn't have chum the waters anymore. Is he gonna hook him? Yes, he is. Gonna get Q off right there. The turret's more important than the kill. The kill's. A kill isn't how you end the game, kills are how you get objectives, and objectives are how you end the game. So if you can get an objective, then it's super worth it. Use my W to get the attack speed. Your team has destroyed a turret. Not a problem. Oh boy. Not the best ultimate placement right there. I'm right up in Lee's face. No prey, no Gonna get that kill as well. But I had very bad placement on my ultimate right there. I only hit about one person, but I split them, so it was still a little bit worth it. And I think we're gonna get the inhibitor off of this one. No, we aren't. They're actually get, he, Andy's gonna show up, and we're gonna have none of that. So I'm actually gonna get an Infinity Edge next. You don't really have to get one. You can actually go for another Bloodthirster because it's more damage. But oh, <laughs> bear hug that. Damn, Tibbers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I started rolling away with this one just because I got the last Whisper for the Arbor Penetration. I'm going to get the Pickaxe because I'm going to start building the uh, Infinity Edge. I'm not going to sell my Dorian's Blade until I have sure enough you can me, for summoner. 
the BF sword. The middle inhibitor is open, so I'm going to start heading over that way and check the dragon timer because we believe we got dragon last time. So, did we? No, no, no. They got dragon. So, I don't know when dragon is. The fun begins. So, static shiv is one of those items where you want to attack and move all the time with it in order to get the, the best uh, use out of it. Your Q does apply, apply the hit, so no, as you can see, it'll spark like that. He is just clearing out wards, so Blitz is looking for that. So Static Shiv gets more and more charges the more you move, and the more you auto attack. So attack moving is really worth it on this item. It encourages you to do so, and I love this item. It's very good for wave clear. It also has that little extra magic damage so that you aren't completely... <laughs> Just took her out. This is a good hook by him. Probably didn't have to do that, but I didn't want Blitzcrank. I wanted to stay out of range of Blitzcrank hook, which is why I did that. Use the ultimate, because I could have run up and I could have just popped her a bunch of times. And, and that's just dead. He's going to go there. I'm actually going to go to where Graves is, because Fizz has middle. Graves is the only person up right now. He could probably get it. Yeah, he's gonna get this, but he's not gonna get another one because I'm gonna stop it. Your turret has been destroyed. So. Guns blazing. Is he backing in there? No. Oh, yes, he is. Your team has so I stopped his back, which is really good, really, really, really good. No prey, no pay. When you stop somebody's back. And just destroyed him there. He thought he could, but nope. Don't get cocky. So gonna keep pushing this. I think they might be trying to end the game. No, they aren't. They just get pushing up. We didn't get any of the turrets. We got the inhibitor though. Oh, no. We got the top That's turret. And now there's pressure on the bottom as well. So just gonna keep pushing and pushing. Uh, I'd actually argue that Dragon is better. Let's crank was near the middle, or near the top. Lee's near the top, so that's gonna mean I get to push this for free for a couple and of seconds here. If I can just get in there and do damage to the shirt, then that would be great. Okay. So here we go. I have my strut still. Andy's gonna come up here. She dies too. You wanna flash early all the time. If you watch <laughs> before she even gets this, can get in range for the stun. So you always want to flash a little Shaking earlier than Summoner. than the person's range because as soon as she gets in range, she will use it. So I'm gonna pop that. Need 500 for IE. Nothing but powder monkeys. Gonna run up here, have my ultimate once again. Pretty good spot right around here that I'd love to use it if I could. If I could. This is all in the middle of that. Oh. Oh boy. So obviously this was worth it. Oh, okay, okay, that's that's gonna make it completely worth it then. So like I said, you just want to do as much damage as possible before you before you die. He's just watching the animation. Oh yeah, that's how Jace operates. Yeah, it's really strange when you thundering blow somebody like that. It will hit them from where they were, not the end of the animation. So. Overall, though, that was that was kind of a, an iffy move by me. I did just want to get the any. What? Okay. Not a problem. Lily Sin's body just jumped up. I had no idea. So I'm level 18. I'm up there. I have a decent amount of farm. You know, it's nothing spectacular. I need to farm out my bloodthirster a little bit again. That's the problem with this item, is that you have to farm it up every time you die. So that's why a lot of people opt actually opt to build Blade of the Rune King now over Bloodthirster, but on MF, 
you really don't. Sure you can handle but but there's there's a much better item because it gives the flat damage. Let's get my ultimates back up. Hundred second cooldown. I'm ready to go. Just gonna clear everything out. Not a problem. Looking for the swiggity swag. I'm gonna zone him off that way. Blitz tries to come through there. He's gonna die. So he just goes off to the side. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Right, I'm actually gonna keep my distance from Annie. I know she doesn't have flash anymore. I still have barrier. Run to the side. Would love to keep. I would love to keep tabs on that Rengar though. So Annie ran up, got decimated there, and I'm gonna get pooped on by this Rengar, but not enough to make a difference. So now it looks like we're just gonna end the game off of back that one. Really, this game, we gotta give a big thanks out to Fizz there for roaming when he did, because we were in a pretty iffy situation at the beginning of the game. We did win, I did win a lot of the trades in lane. What? No. So they surrendered. Gonna have double explosion, right? Double explosion? No. Okay. So, that's my misfortune guide. You know, there isn't a lot to this character. They do need to make some changes, though, to bring her back into competitive play. They need to make it so that her double up prioritizes champions, that would be something that I would like to see, the second bounce. Because right now it's just so random, and Riot seems really bent on taking the RNG out of the game, like with with uh, the phage procs and the percentage, things like that. But I really think it should prioritize champions. They've done it with so many other abilities that I really think it's time to do it to that. But yeah, so that's my MF guide. You max Q, then W, 21, 9 masteries, 21, 9, 0 masteries, and then um, she's basically a walking ultimate. And, oh, I didn't talk about my runes. My runes are attack damage attack damage in the reds with one crit rune. And then I have two, two lifesteal quintessences, one AD quintessence. Then I bring flat armor, and then I believe scaling magic resist, because in the lane you don't really have to worry about too much magic damage, and you have a pretty good base there. So that's my misfortune guide, and hope you guys enjoy.